does that now make me a, 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 a Japanese man? Is that who I become? So that's, that's what you're telling me, though, when you say, I don't really care what the Bible says. I, my mama took care of me my whole life. It don't matter what your mama did for you. You understand? It matters what seed you came from. Who ball sack did you come out of? Which one? Was it your mama or was your father? It was your father. Okay? So was your father a so-called black man? Was your father a so-called white man? Was your father... Okay, your father was a so-called Haitian man. That means he came from the tribe of Levi. You got a question? I was saying, like, uh, I was explaining to him, he was talking about um, his father being his mother, his mom being oh, yeah, yeah, black yeah, and Spanish. Yeah, yeah. I was explaining yeah, yeah. to him. My, my, my father is... Give me Numbers chapter 1. He's Haitian and Spanish. All right, your father is Haitian and Spanish. My mother is Indian and black. Tim, what's your father? Is he African-American, so-called African-American? I, I, when they were alive, what were they? They had to identify <laughs> something. You never met them before? All right, well, my mom and dad since I was 15. All right, so uh, read what you got. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigrees. Declare what? Their pedigrees. They declare who? Their pedigrees. You know what a pedigree is? That's your lineage that you come from. All right, and listen to how the Bible tells you how that pedigree is declared. Come on. After their families by the house of their father. After their families by the house of their mother? Of their father. So the Bible tells you to declare your pedigree. You determine who you come from by following your father or your mother. Which one is it? Actually, I follow my mother. No, I'm, I'm saying, what does the Bible say? That's what they're saying. The Bible says, I'm not saying that she wasn't. doesn't matter. You understand? If I was adopted by a so-called uh, Japanese family, they took me in. As a baby, I'm still a black man. You understand? I live in, I, I got you. I, I'm still a black man. I live in a, a Japanese household. All right? Does that now make me a, 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 a Japanese man? Is that who I become? So that's, that's what you're telling me, though, when you say, I don't really care what the Bible says. I, my mama took care of me my whole life. It don't matter what your mama did for you. You understand? It matters what seed you came from. Who ball sack did you come out of? Which one? Was it your mama or was your father? It was your father, okay? So was your father a so-called black man? Was your father a so-called white man? Was your father, okay, your father was a so-called Haitian man. That means he came from the tribe of Levi. You understand? So when you take a seed and you plant it, in any ground, whatever's going to grow is what that seed was. It's not what the ground was. It's the same way with the man's sperm. That's what we're trying to show you in the Bible. Read it again from the top. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Come on. And they declare their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So your pedigree is, is, is determined by the house of who? Your father. You understand? We love our mamas to death. Most of our mamas was there for us. You understand? Much more than our fathers was. You ain't alone. That's, that's this whole nation. This is our people. All right? But guess what? You can read about that in the Bible, too. Guess what they did, though? They created monsters. That's what our mothers did. You know, in the prison system, 70% of it is so-called blacks and Hispanics. We make up the prison system. Did you know that? Did you know? Okay, you knew that. All right, now, 70% of those men that's in the prison systems was raised by single mamas and grandmamas. Did you know that? Did you know that? So guess what? Our mamas, as much as we love them, they're failing. They're failing us. You understand? They're failing us. Because you know where we end up? Right on these corners. Selling drugs to each other. Killing each other. Murdering each other. You understand? That's where we end up. Because the father wasn't there to raise us, to render us, to correct us, to guide us. You understand? The father wasn't there for us to do that. All right? All right. Do you disagree with that? Yeah, I kind of just Okay, what, uh, make your point. What is it? My mom did a hell of a good job. You know what I'm saying? Now, she did a good job. She raised me right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Made sure Hold I, on, bro. Stay here. We're we going to deal with you. Sure I was uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, I had a good dad at home. I had a good dad. You know what I'm saying? Because my dad got down. He's still in my life to this day. Now, my father is never in the picture until I reached 30 years old. You know what I'm saying? Any and everything that I did on these streets, I did it out of my choice. So it wasn't my parents' fault. It was me doing my what I wanted to do. And my father, man, my father for real, I ain't meet the motherfucker till I was 30. He just ended up knocking on the door one day, telling us, uh, it's your home. Is, is your mama home? Actually, that's the only person he asked for, was my mama. He was like, he asked me, you know who I am? I looked at him, I looked at him, I said, oh, 
build. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're a light skinned, tall ass motherfucker. My mama already told me about your picture. I don't fuck with you for real. You know what I'm saying? I was on my way out to take my kids, my wife, out of dinner. Well, did your mama tell you good things or bad things about them? She ain't never t she ain't tell me too much about him, and it was never was anything bad. So why did you deal with him like that? Like, man, get off my man. My mom already told you, told told me about you. Got, why, I, yeah. I got a dad. Why you here? You understand? I got a motherfucker that been there since before I came out the pussy. All right. You know what I'm saying you got there, you 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 signed the papers in knowledge. You know I was. Who told you that? What? Who told you that story? I, I seen the paper. Yeah. Who told you that he left after that and everything oh, no, else you he know? He was in the navy. He was in the navy and all that good shit. And I'm gonna tell you ladies. All that you know about him, who did you learn it from? Him. My he mom. told you that? Yes. The one that came to knock on the door told yes. you that? Yes. He told you that when? He, when he, you were a child? He, he, no. He seen pictures of me. He knew all about all my kids. He knew about everything. Him and my mom started talking talking back to each other. Conversating. When I turned 18. I turned 18 in job court. I turned 18, 18 in job court. Now, I called, look, I called my cousin, Tanya. In New York. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to cut you short. I'm going to cut you short because I understand what you're saying. You're saying that you, you can make your own decisions. And this is, the decisions you make ain't got nothing to do with your parents, right? Exactly. You agree with that, right? Exactly. The decisions you make ain't got nothing to do with your parents. You make your own, you your own grown up man, right? You your own grown up man, right? Right? Exactly. You your own grown up man. You're going to do what you want to do. Right? You your own grown up man, you're gonna do what you wanna do. Don't matter who raised you, that has nothing to do with the decisions that you make. You agree with what he's saying, right? No, leave it to <laughs> you. Exactly, all right, exactly, exactly. We're gonna get that. We're gonna get that. This your cousin right here? Nah, he, he, he got some good wisdom right there. Hold on, let me read this first, I'm gonna let you speak. Read what you got. The book of Sarah, chapter 10. Verse, oh, no, verse one. Verse one. Verse one. A wise judge will instruct his people. Wait, what does the Bible say? A wise judge will instruct his people. Now, most of us in our households, we're missing that wise judge, right? Most of us in our house, I'm speaking another language here. Most of us in our households, we're missing that wise judge. You know what that wise judge is supposed to be? A father, yes. You understand? A father. Not a daddy, not a pop. A, a father. You understand? Not a, not a boyfriend, not a baby daddy, a father that's there. Most of us are missing this wise judge. You know what a judge is supposed to do? He's supposed to set law in order. Do we have law and order in our homes growing up? No, we don't have law and order in our homes. It's chaos. You know what we got? We got a bunch of emotions because we're being raised, most of us, by our aunties and our mamas and her sisters and all the women that tell us everything we want to hear to make us feel good about ourselves. We grow up being real emotional. You got good hair, boy. Ain't that what your mama say? Oh, look at him, he's strong, he fast, he this, he, you understand? They build our self-esteem up to the point where now we think we better than everybody else. That's what they do for us. You understand? Then we get mad when somebody step on our shoes. Yeah, we full of emotion when we grow up. Am I making this up? Yeah, no, I'm not. Case, yeah. I'm not making it. I'm not. I'm, I'm not speaking about you okay. specifically. I'm talking about our people together. You're not above your people. You're not above them. You understand? You're not above them. That's very good. But do you believe the Bible? Uh, yes. All right. Now read it again. A wise judge will instruct his people. You agree with that? A wise judge will instruct his people. Come on. And the government of a prudent man is well in order. So you have a prudent man that's establishing order. You understand? It's going to be in order. It's going to be well ordered. It's going to be well ordered. Decently. Come on. As the judge of the people is himself. Wait, what does the Bible say? As the judge of the people is himself. The Bible says exactly how that judge is that's over that household, within that home. Come on. So are his officers. So are who? So are his officers. Those are the men and the women that's under him. You understand? His sons, children, offspring. Now this is this is a this is talking about government right here. But guess what government starts? It starts in your home. It starts in the home. All right. So guess what? You can't say that your the things that you do have nothing to do with your parents because as your as the brother said. You train up a, a child in the way that he should go so that when he's older, he don't depart from it. But if we don't have a wise judge instructing us up the right way from our youth, the chances of us going off, it increases. You understand? It increases. It doesn't make it 
absolutely it doesn't absolutely uh, n n resolve you from 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 ending up in a, a bad place. But you got a better chance of making it out that way. You understand? You're an exception to that. All right. But most of your people are not exceptions to that. That's why we come here into the ghetto. Wherever we go, we go to the ghetto. Why? You think we see a different people living in the ghetto? No, we see the same people wherever we go in the same conditions wherever we go with the same mamas and grandmamas wherever we go raising up these children is it a coincidence or are you just the exception you're the exception brother you're the exception this is not the it, it, you, your your situation is not how most turn out i know that you're exception to that but we're talking about the people we gotta raise our people up we gotta stop being selfish thinking about ourselves we gotta think about what changes do we need to make to change our to, to change to change our people to change to establish a government on this earth? What changes do we need to make? One thing is we need laws. We need order. We are missing that. A judge is going to be about that book. We don't have anyone in our homes about this book. A judge is going to be about this book, man. We're talking about a righteous judge. Yes, a righteous judge. A righteous judge is going to be about his people establishing law and order. All right? Read on. As the judge of his people is himself, so are the officers. Come on. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is. What manner of man the ruler of the city is, right? What manner of woman the ruler of the house is, come on. Such are all they that the world they're in. So will everybody else be. So if you grow up in a household that's full of emotion, likely it's very likely that you, whether you're a male or female, is going to be full of what? It's going to be full of what? Say it again. If you have a woman, right, who is ruling a household full of emotion, it's very likely that the children being brought up under her, whether they're male or female, are going to be full of what? They're going to be full of emotion. You understand? They're going to be full of emotion. He, sa he says no. He says no. But he's wrong. You understand? You're wrong. Emotions don't come in one way. Hold on. Emotions. Emotions. Listen. You got different emotions. I can tell you like You have different emotions, though, boy. My dad raised me. Come on, boy. Give me that. But before I came out of pussy. All right. That's good. Stop talking. Stop Was your dad emotional? Stop talking. Hell no. All right, so we're, we're talking about households full of emotion. That's what we're talking about. Listen, my mama, my mama was always straight, but she loved her kids to death. All right. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish them. Damn. I'm gonna tell you like this. This is with me. Right. Like I told you, I didn't be, I didn't even talk to my father the first time until I was 18 when I was in jail court. Right. But my dad told me about this man. When I was like nine years old, you know what I'm saying? My dad told me about it. Okay. That made me want to look for him. All right. You know what I'm saying? So when I got up in age, I started looking for him. You know okay. Damn. After I found, I did find him. Cause I called my cousin Tanya. All right. New York. It's, it's other people that I want you to get to it. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I, I finally ended up meeting him. I finally ended up. Y'all stay close, stay close. We're going to deal with you. Go ahead. I want my man to finish. Go ahead. But he wanted, he wanted, he, had a, oh. he just wanted my mama phone him. Motherfucker, you really ain't him. Nothing about me. Man. You know what I'm saying? But my dad, though. He's still here right now in my life today. All right, very good. Now listen to what the Bible says. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 6. Hey, young man, we're going to read the Bible. I want you to tell me if you agree with this right here. Because not everybody out here agrees with the Bible. Read what you got. Train up a child. The Bible says to do what? Train up a child. The Bible says to train up a child, right? Come on. In the way he should go. Because at one point in time, we were all children. Some of us may even have children. Right? Now imagine this. If you train up that child the way that you were trained up. Read it again from the top. Train up a child in the way he should go. So if we train up that child in the way that he should go, come on. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Does that child have a better, a better chance of not departing from the good things that you taught him? If you, if you were to teach him that as a child? Or does he have a worse chance of, of ending up? In a, in a bad place if you teach him good things as a child which one is it which one is it he's gonna stay on the path he has a better chance of staying on the path if you teach him good things as a little child right that's what we're establishing we establishing law and order that's fine that's fine you had a man in the household though all right we all need more men in our household
nation is men leading by example.